hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to find the area and the parameter of this given kite so let's go ahead and go over this kite briefly look at this longer side over here this side is same as this side okay as you can see this side and the smaller side is same as this smaller side and one more thing you can see that these this is the larger diagonal and this is a smaller one and these two diagonals are perpendicular to each other that means they make a 90 degree angle and if this side is 5 then this side is going to be 5 as well and now in this next step we are going to find the area of this given kite and we will be using this formula and here is the formula of the kite a equals to a half times d1 times d2 where d1 is the longest diagonal and d2 is the shorter one so in our case our d1 is turns out to be 18 because 6 plus 12 makes 18 and d2 is going to be a 5 plus 5 makes 10. let's go ahead and calculate area so area of this kite is going to be simply 1 over 2 times d1 d2 let's go ahead and plug it in 1 over 2 d1 is 18 and d2 is 10 and if you simplify this thing that's going to give us 90. thus the area of the kite turns out to be 90 square units and finally in this step we are going to find the parameter of this kite so before we find the parameter we must find we must calculate the length of this smaller side and this longer side as well and as you know that these two triangles are right triangle isn't it so we will be using a Pythagorean theorem and here's the Pythagorean theorem which is c squared equals to a squared plus b squared where in this right triangle c is the longest leg and it is also called hypotenuse so so let me just put this one the smaller side i'm gonna call it small s and this is i'm gonna call l and now we're gonna be finding the length of these sides over here so i will be using this pythagorean theorem let's go ahead and find the value of s first so over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to put down so this is c square equal to a square plus b square i'm going to call this side a this is b and this side is c so and this is a right triangle so c in our case is s square equals to a is 6 so 6 square plus b is 5 square so that's going to become 36 plus 25 equal to 61 so s square turns out to be 61 take the square root because we are looking for s value so s turns out to be a square root of 61 and that's what we got so thus this side turns out to be square root of 61 now let's go ahead and apply the pythagorean theorem on this right hand side right triangle once again i'm going to call this side a this side b and this side c and this is our pythagorean theorem c square equal to a square plus b square in our case c is simply l so this is going to make l squared equals to 12 square plus b is 5 square so 12 square is 144 plus 25 that makes 169 
equal to L square. I want you to take the square root on both sides. So L turns out to be 13. So this leg turns out to be 13. And since these two triangles are congruent, so this side is going to be 13 as well. And these, since these two side uh, triangles are congruent as well, so this side is going to be square root of 61. So thus our parameter is going to be simply, you just add these numbers, 13, plus 13 plus square root of 61 and square root of 61. That means we are just going to add the length of the boundary. So that turns out to be 13 plus 13 plus square root of 61 plus square root of 61. So 13 and 13 makes 26 plus 2 times square root of 61 and we know that uh, if you use a calculator square root of 61 is approximately equal to 7.8 so that's gonna give you all these things as 26 plus 15.6 and if you add them that's going to be approximately equal to 41.6 and thus the parameter of the chi turns out to be approximately equal to 41.6 units thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos